Hey guys, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be exploring free-to-play money-making methods. Every method has various pros and cons in comparison to each other, so hopefully there's a suitable money-maker for everyone. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first method is mining. Mining is a great way to profit while still progressing your account in free-to-play. Commonly mined ore in free-to-play are iron, clay, and coal. Clay can be obtained at just level 1 mining. Uh, West Varrock is probably the most popular spot because it's so close to a bank. From mining clay, you can expect 138k GP per hour and around 4k mining XP per hour. But obviously, this all depends on your mining level. But at the time of this video, 4.8k GP per inventory of clay is what you can expect. It's also worth noting that you can use a bucket or a jug of water on the clay to create soft clay, but that's another money maker on its own and I didn't really put it in the video. So consider that one a freebie. At level 15 mining, you can mine iron. Iron is roughly 79k GP per hour while 33k XP per hour. Once again, this may vary depending on your mining level. I believe the best place to mine iron is the Alcarid mine, but I could be wrong. Other locations where you can mine iron are the Dwarven mine, the Remington mine, the Southeast Verrock mining site, Southwest Verrock mining site, the Edgeville dungeon mine, and others. Finally, coal requires 30 mining and is around 50k GP per hour with around 17k XP per hour. I believe the best place to do this in free to play is the mining guild. But the mining guild requires 60 mining to enter. If you don't have the 60 mining requirement to enter the mining guild, you can still mine coal at the wilderness coal mine. If you do choose to mine coal in the wilderness, be aware because there are aggressive skeletons and obviously PKers because you're in the wilderness. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're a lower level account. All right, up next we have a classic money maker, Wines of Zamorak. The requirements for this method are 33 magic, some law runes, a staff of air, and some food. Located in the Chaos Temple northeast of the Goblin Village, Wines of Zamorak offer profit of almost up to 250k GP per hour. The method itself is fairly simple. Tele grab the wine on the table, wait for it to respawn, or hop worlds. If you do have an extra 5 or so k laying around, you can purchase Zamorak monk robes and what this allows you to do is use the ladder to go upstairs and there you will find another wine that you can tele grab. You'll notice when you tele grab this wine that the monk upstairs is not aggressive towards you unless you just try to grab it off the table without actually tele grabbing the wine. Unfortunately this is a very crowded method and also heavily botted so it's very beneficial to have the robes here because if you find an open world, you can just hop between the upstairs and downstairs rather than having to hop every time and possibly not finding an open world. Ogress Warriors are a monster that can be killed after completing the Corsair Cove quest. Located in the Corsair Cove dungeon, these monsters have a pretty good drop table for free to play. Their drop table includes rune items like full helms, battle axes, and med helms common drops of nature runes and law runes. At 92k GP per hour, it's a great way to make a little GP while you beef up your combat stats. Trading shops are a great way to grow your cash stack fairly quickly. All you need to do is go to trading shops, buy some items, and sell them for more on the GE. It's worth noting, the more you buy from a shop, the more the price goes up. All you really need to do to combat this though is hop worlds. If you're unsure about what items you should buy from the shop and sell on the GE, usually items used for skilling are good, like needles, threads, and knives. Also, items that you can use for alking, such as plate bodies, do fairly well. And also runes. Runes usually have a good margin to sell with, just be careful with runes because they do fluctuate in price fairly quickly. As you see in this clip here, I start with 10 GP, buy 10 random items from the general store, and sell them to the GE, ending with a 666 cash stack. So it's pretty evident that all you need to do is buy items that sell for more on the GE, and you're going to make money.
This next method is for all my AFKers out there. Wood cutting is obviously one of the most AFKable skills and somewhat profitable in free to play. With the common ground between XP, GP, and AFKness, wood cutting just might be the money maker for you. Most people think I'm probably going to say use here, but I'm not. The requirement for use are pretty steep at 60 wood cutting, and use are around 39k GP per hour and 30k XP per hour which still makes it a fairly viable skill, but ultimately cutting oak logs is 129k GP per hour and 41k XP per hour, making them an obvious choice for maximizing both GP and XP. You are sacrificing a little bit of AFKness though, but ultimately it's worth it for the GP and XP you'll be gaining. Up next, we have probably my favorite method in this video, and it's telegrabbing nature runes. This method requires 33 magic for the telegrab spell. Located in level 40 wilderness on Lava Island, this high risk moneymaker is one of the best methods in free to play at nearly 300k GP per hour. The reason that this method is so good is because you get seven nature runes per two law runes, but beware this is high risk. So it's probably not a good idea to go out there with your entire law rune stack. Recommended items are a staff of air, law runes, maybe about a hundred or so, one empty inventory spot, and the rest food. You can bring some type of armor if you want a bit of extra defensive bonus from PKers, but it's not needed. Also, if you have an axe to use the canoe to get out to the wilderness, it's a lot faster than blocking. And you don't have to waste your run energy getting out there, which will come in handy if there are PKers chasing you. The method itself is pretty simple, just telegrab nature runes and hop worlds and repeat. But the reason I like this method so much is probably the fact that there are PKers in the wilderness. Just remember, don't bring anything into the wilderness that you're not prepared to lose. And our final method of this video is looting. Looting in a wilderness free to play world can be a great source of some cash. No requirements or skill needed, all you need to do is be in world 308, which is the free to play wilderness world. It's pretty simple, just pick the loot up off the ground, but be aware because players with similar combat levels can attack you and most likely will attack you. It's tough to say how much GP per hour you'll actually make because that all depends on what loot you pick up, but you definitely want to stock up on the adamant arrows because they do stack and that's where you'll see a majority of your profit. You might get lucky here and there with a type of scimitar or maybe a Halloween mask or something like I do in this video, but it's, again, it's all luck. So it's hard to actually say how much you'll make. From five minutes of looting, I made 15K. So it all really depends. I didn't try this method a second time, but I'm sure that if I did, I doubt I'd make 15K. I'd probably make more or less. As you can see, when I price check my inventory, I make just under 14k, and most of that came from the Halloween mask and the Addy Arrows. So it's safe to assume you can make about 10k in inventory, and an inventory lasts you about 5 minutes, so you do the math. And I think that's going to do it for today's video. By no means are the, is this the only way to make money in free to play, there's tons of different ways that I didn't mention such as the Stronghold of Security, which is a one-time only 10k, and also Merching, which is probably meta. But anyways, these are just some uh, methods that I thought would be great for various different types of accounts if you want to train or you have no stats whatsoever. I think there's something in here for everyone. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you have something to say or add, let me know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.